you will be able to determine the truth values of propositions. Truth values of propositions. Aside from performing operations on propositions, determining their truth values is also possible. Given some truth values of its component propositions, the truth value of a compound propositions may be known. The truth table will systematically guide you to determine the truth value of a compound proposition. Truth table. To determine the truth table of a given proposition, we will be using a so-called truth table. This table is used to determine whether the given compound statement is true or false. Truth table for negation. In this table, if the given proposition is true, of course not true will be false. And if the given proposition is false, of course not false will be true. Example 1. 2 is an odd number. We know that this proposition is false because 2 is an even number, so therefore the proposition is F. So not false will be of course true. Example 2. Everyone in Visayas speaks Cebuano. But we all know that in Visayas there are many local dialects and one of that is Cebuano. So of course, this is a false statement and it is F. And again, not false will be of course true. Truth table for conjunction. When we say conjunction, we use the logical operator and, but, yet, and many more. So in the first case, if the first proposition is true, and the second is also true, and they are connected by any of those logical operator, the truth values of that is true. Second, if the first is true and second is false, and they are connected by any of those logical operator, that will be false. Third, if the first is false and the second is true, and the truth value for that is false. Fourth, if the first is false and the second is false, and they are joined by any of those logical operations, the truth value of that is still false. Example number one, Bai City is in Negros Oriental. We all know that Bai City is part of Negros Oriental, so that is true. And Bacolod is also in Negros Oriental. We all know that Bacolod is in Negros Occidental, so that is false. So as you can see, we use the logical operator and, so that will be false. Second, Pentagon has four sides. Hmm. We all know that Pentagon has five sides, so that is of course false proposition. And Rectangle has three sides. Again, that one is false proposition because the rectangle has four sides. So the truth value will be of course false. Truth table of disjunction. This used the logical operator or. Case 1. If the first proposition is true and the second proposition is also true and they are joined by the disjunction or, the truth value of that is true. Second, if the first proposition is true and the second proposition is false, the truth value of that is true. Third, if the first proposition is false and the second proposition is true, the truth value of that is true. Fourth, if the first proposition is false and the second proposition is also false, the truth value of that is of course false. Example 1. A guitar has a six strings. That is true. Or, ukulele has seven strings. That is false. So, the P or Q will be true. Second, x plus x is equals to 2x. That's true. Or, 2x minus x is equals to x. That is also true. So, the truth value is true. Truth table of conditional. We know that conditional uses if-then statement. So first case, if the first proposition is true and the second proposition is true, the value for that is also true. Second, if the first proposition is true and the second proposition is false, the value for that is also false. Third, if the first proposition is false and the second proposition is true, the value for that is true. And last, if the first proposition is false and the second proposition is false, the value for that is true. If Lawrence is a grade 11, so the first proposition is true, then he is a senior high school. So that is also true because grade 11 belongs to senior high. So the truth value is also true. Second, if x plus x is equals to x squared, well, we all know that that is false because x plus x is equals to 2x, then 
x times x is equal to 2x. That is also false. Therefore, f implies f is true. Truth value for by conditional. If first statement is true and second statement is also true and they are connected with if and only if, the truth value of that statement is true. Second, if the first statement is true and the second statement is false, that means it is also false. Third, if the first statement is false and the second statement is true, the truth value of that is false. Then, if the first statement is false and the second statement is also false, and they are connected with if and only if, the truth value of that is true. Example, given B. Joanna is a big eater. Q. Freya has a big voice. R. G likes dogs. M. Nicole likes blue. 1. Nicole likes blue if and only if Joanna is a big eater. So, Nicole likes blue, we have M, and that is true. And if and only if Joanna is a big eater, we have P, and that is also true. And they are connected with if and only if, so that will be true. Example 2. Freya has a big voice, so that is our Q, and it is true. If and only if G doesn't like dogs, so obviously that is false because our R states that G likes dogs. So that will be Q, if and only if R, will be false. And that's how you find the truth value of a proposition. Conditional Propositions Suppose P and Q are propositions. From the conditional proposition P then Q, we derive three other conditional statements, namely Converse, Contrapositive, and Inverse. Converse, Q then P. Contrapositive, if not Q, then not P. Inverse, if not P, then not Q. So, example number one. Consider the following true condition. So remember, in this problem, you need to identify the P and the Q. So we can identify the P after the word if. And we can identify the Q after the word then. Okay, so state its converse, contrapositive, and inverse and determine whether each statement is also true. So to find the inverse, we just need to look the symbol. So it's Q then P. So therefore, the statement will be, if Lance is a senior high school student, as you can see this is our Q, then he is in grade 11. So as you can see, we just exchanged them, and that is converse. And this is not necessarily true, because if you will say he's a senior high school, he could be a grade 12 student, so it's not true. So in contrapositive, we are just going to put the word not, because as you can see in the symbol, it's not Q, then not P. Therefore, it is if Lance is not a senior high school, then he is not in grade 11. And it is true, because if he's not a senior high school, then he is not in grade 11. On the other hand, inverse is also exchanged, but we are still going to put the word not, so P is the first. So, if Lance is not in grade 11, then he is not a senior high student. And this is not necessarily true. Example number 2. If there are no corrupt people, there are no poor people. So as you can remember, the P is after the word if. So the P here is there are no corrupt people, and the Q is there are no poor people. So let's determine again the converse, contrapositive, and the inverse of the following conditional propositions. Our converse is, if there are no people, then there are no corrupt people. Then in our contrapositive, since we have the word no in our conditional proposition, in our contrapositive, we are going to remove the no. So therefore, it will be, if there are poor people, then there are corrupt people. And our inverse is, if there are corrupt people, there are poor people. 